everyone, how's it going? Sarah here. So today I'm going to talk about computer engineering and what exactly it entails. And basically, what is it? So let's get to it. Computer engineering is a newer field. It's not, it hasn't been around very long. So I guess that's why there hasn't been very many videos or information about it. And so a lot of people have asked me and I've been asked many times, well, what is computer engineering? If you don't know what computer science is or electrical engineering, um, you should look that up because that's what I'm gonna be talking about right now. And it's pretty straightforward as to what they are and they've been around for a long time. So computer science is more of like the software side of things. And then electrical engineering is more of like the hardware side of things such as building the actual circuit or um, making the electronic work, whereas uh, computer science is running and operating the software system in order to get you know the certain functions running and working in the hardware. So basically, computer engineering combines both computer science and electrical engineering. It's kind of like, the way you could think about it is like the bridge between the two. So you have the computer science on one hand and the electrical engineering on the other. And computer engineering is what basically um, explains and describes how the hardware is integrated into the software, how the software is integrated into the hardware. So it's the connection between the two. And because of that, those who major in computer engineering have an education both in a little bit of computer science and a little bit of electrical engineering. It just describes the integration between the two. And I think that it's a great field because it has both computer science and electrical engineering. So if you were to look for a job that was heavily into computer science or heavily into electrical engineering, you can go and apply to those jobs because you have at least some familiarity with both of them. Computer engineering just provides you with a wide diversification in the engineering field. So yeah, that's why I think it's a, it's a good field to major in. So you may be asking, okay, now I know what computer engineering is, but what career can I pursue with this degree? Like what can I actually get a job in? Um, and that's where I could say, yeah, you can either get a job in something with computer science and electrical engineering um, focus, or there are other jobs that are specific for computer engineers, such as cybersecurity. Cybersecurity people are very heavily into computer engineering. Um, they're the ones who go and you know protect the software, make sure it doesn't get hacked or breached, and also integrates that with like the little devices like the um, internet of things. They go and make sure that those are protected and they're not breached and no one can like hack into them. So that's one of the jobs you can pursue as just a computer engineer, like a heavy focus on that. Um, I think another one would be uh, jobs that involve VHDL and um, embedded systems. So what that is, is basically you go and do low level programming such as assembly language or low level C programming and you program a chip or some sort of device microprocessor to perform a certain way. And you do this by going into a lab and you have the software hooked up to your software program or you have the hardware hooked up to your software program and you basically do a bunch of tests with that. If you haven't taken any uh, microprocessor courses, then um, that's where you would learn stuff like that, the low level programming and embedded systems. Um, but if you haven't taken it, that's that's fine. Um, but yeah, so those are some jobs that you can pursue as just a computer engineer. I guess the last thing I can say about computer engineering is that the courses that you take, or at least the courses that I've taken, have been basically identical to electrical engineering uh, courses. I had to take all the courses that electrical engineering students had to take, except for electronics two. I had to only take electronics one. And I had to take, I think, a couple more, like two or three more programming classes. Um, and that was about it. Other than that, we all had to take the same, same course load and the same subjects and everything like that. So in that respect, at least at the university that I went to, I would have more knowledge in the electrical, electrical engineering background than I would in computer science because I was like in a different department. Uh, but since I had those extra courses in programming, I could still learn and I at least know the basics of, you know, C++, Python, Java, and stuff like that. So I could learn from that. I didn't have to start from nothing. 
And yeah, so I think that that's a, that's something that I would like to share with you guys because I don't know if there's a lot of people out there who have any information about this and I don't know anyone, any females who major in computer engineering. And when I first, you know, decided to pursue this degree, I, I really didn't know what it was about. I just wanted to do it because it was something that I didn't know, like it was different and it was an engineering field. And I didn't want to go for computer science because it wasn't in the engineering field. And electrical engineering, I had a, I have a dad who majored in that and I just, I don't know why, I just didn't want to, the knowledge or the fact that I would be going for the exact same major he did, I just, I don't want to do that. I want to try to do something different even though it's like basically the same thing. I realized. Yeah, so I just thought I would try that field. And yeah, I'm, yeah, here I am. So if you have any other like questions or comments about this field, anything that I didn't quite touch on that you don't know or you would like to know, um, please let me know in the comment section below. But if you found it useful and helpful and you now know what computer engineering is, then please like and subscribe below. And thanks for watching. Bye.